What's up guys and welcome back to LSJ TV. Now as you're watching this video, I am actually off at Centre Parts on a very last minute holiday thanks to my good buddy Jack who I'm sure you will see in the next video. I actually went shopping for food, alcohol, all that kind of stuff which as you guys can see now. So very, very excited. But in today's video what we're going to focus on is a chest workout. We'll get to that in a little bit but first I just have a couple of announcements for you. As you will have seen via Instagram and Facebook if you are following me, use those links below if you haven't already. As of today I am officially taking pre-orders for the Red Summer LSJ emblem tee. These are just for summer guys, so you'll be part of a very, very exclusive club. I'm not going to make too many of these. I want this to be exclusive, and the people who have these t-shirts feel like part of a community. So I don't want to make too many. I want to keep the, the stock minimal, and obviously because it is just me sorting the clothes out, it allows me to give you good customer service if there's not a shit ton of people who want the clothes. So be part of that exclusive club and place a pre-order using the links below. DM me on any, of social, any form of social media. Let me know what size you want, what t-shirt you want, and as well as that, I'm going to do a restock of the black and white emblem tees or any other t-shirt that you guys want. So scroll through my Instagram, scroll through my Facebook, anything you see that you like the look of, screenshot that picture of that t-shirt that you want and send it to me on any form of social media, whether that's Twitter, whether that's Facebook, Instagram, anything I'm not bothered guys. So with all that said, let's get into today's workout. All right guys, so the first exercise of the day is going to be everybody's favorite exercise, the flat barbell bench press. Just allows you to push as much weight as possible and just feel like an absolute boss in the gym. So what we're gonna do is today we're gonna put on only 70 and focus on doing nice, slow, controlled, negative pause reps. And then exploding back up to the top again, breaking down as many muscle fibers as we can and working on those beach muscles before center parks. All right guys, so next exercise of the day is gonna be lat pull downs. As you can see here, we use the adjustable pulleys for this. Really allows you to focus on that mind to muscle connection which is really important with the lat pull downs because you can end up shrugging and you end up moving your elbows, end up bringing in all different kinds of muscles that you really don't need. You want to keep that focus on the lats and get the most out of the movement as much as you possibly can, guys. Focus on pulling from the elbows and using as little secondary muscles in the movement as possible. So what we're going to do is three sets of that, Focus on nice controlled pause reps and then move on to the next exercise. Also, one more thing I want to know from you guys is what products do you want to see me make? What LSJ products do you want? Do you want more hats? Do you want more t-shirts? Do you want to see shorts, joggers, anything like that? Leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you. Next exercise of the day, guys, is incline barbell bench press. Always test just before you do your sets, whether the bar is in the right place, whether the bench is in the right place, it's absolutely crucial for minimizing injury, guys. Because if you have the bench too far back or too far forward, it can be too much strain on your shoulder and you'll find that you can really easily injure yourself. Especially like me, if you have really bad shoulder mobility, just take care and just take that extra time, just that extra couple of minutes just to warm up. Just get the blood pumping in the muscles and everything like that. That'll allow you to have better longevity with your training. Because you're being careful, you're not getting injured, allows you to stay in the gym for longer, make gains for a longer period of time, guys. So that is what we want. Focusing again on nice controlled, slow reps for this one. Focusing on the concentric part of the motion and then exploding back up to the top on that eccentric part. Straight from the bent over row, guys, we've taken 60 second rest. And what we're gonna do is move on to these here cables to do my favorite exercise of all, cable flies. Again, the same with the incline barbell bench press. What you want to do is just take that little bit extra time to warm up and make sure that the cables are in the right place, guys, because that is crucial, especially if you have bad shoulder mobility. Again, this is gonna be mentioned a hell of a lot over this summer, guys, because I'm gonna be training in here a lot. So if you have bad shoulder mobility like myself, one tip I like to do is, as you can see here, it's not quite the right height, but just for the purpose of this, is almost drive down and then step out. Out. I tend to find that people shrug it out, end up bringing in a load of shoulder, when actually it's a cable chest fly, not a cable shoulder press. So what we want to do is keep the tension on the chest and just driving down and then stepping out allows me to do so. Also reduces that risk of injury as well because we're not putting any strain on the shoulder. Also guys, with there being a new launch soon of the Red Summer Limited Edition t-shirts, what I wanted to do is just explain the difference between all of them. So I have three designs. One is the LSJ Emblem T, one is the LSJ Logo T, and one is the LSJ Fitness T. So I'll put pictures up on the screen so you can be clear right now. But what I'm wearing, this is my big logo. This is what I like to call the logo. The one that you see me wear the most often, that's the most popular LSJ shirt, is the LSJ Emblem T. That's the one with the little emblem in the corner. And that's the reason why I call it the emblem, because this is the whole logo 
but this right in the middle here, that's the little emblem. And then finally we have a third shirt, which is the LSJ Fitness shirt, which simply, just like any other fitness brand you see, says the name LSJ Fitness and has the little emblem at the end. So if you guys are interested in purchasing any over the next couple of weeks, then please DM me in any form of social media using the links below, and I'll get back to you about the stock. Having a great workout so far, guys. The pump is insane. I had a couple of scoots of free workout, I'm not gonna lie to you. So that is adding to the pump and adding to the mental focus as well. Having such a good workout, feeling so good. The next exercise is lateral raises. Again, one of my favorite exercises. Because shoulders is a genetic strong point of mine, I love, 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 love training shoulders. And lateral raises is one of my favorites because it really allows you to focus on that mind to muscle connection. Hold that pause for two seconds and really feel the burn at the top of the motion. Hold it for one, two, and then have a nice slow negative, guys. That is how you break down the most muscle fibers and make the most gains in as short a time as possible. There's gonna be one or two of you watching this video wondering why I'm hitting the entire upper body. If you are new to the channel, then I train five times a week, three upper body and two lower bodies. The three upper bodies consist of one chest emphasis, which is this one, one back emphasis, and one shoulder emphasis. I don't really need to explain that, it really is that simple, guys. Stay tuned for the rest of the videos to see the rest of the program. Right, guys, the second to last exercise of the day is going to be a bicep, tricep, and chest superset. How am I gonna do this? Well, first off, you're gonna do 12 to 15 nice, slow, controlled, paused body weight press-ups. And that seems like a mouthful, but really you're just doing slow press-ups. It's, no, it's nothing to stress about, guys. And then what we're gonna do, as soon as we finish that, we're gonna grab this uh, cable at shoulder height, nice lightweight so you can focus on the contraction. Stay nice and square with the cables. I like to sometimes put my hand across my chest just to make sure I'm doing so. And then keeping that elbow nice and still, really focus on the contraction, squeeze at the top one, two, and then hold the negative, guys. Nice, slow negatives is important. It's crucial with bicep training, especially for people like myself when I have more of a thick bicep compared to some people who have better peak. So really focusing on turning that pinky outwards, really engaging the bicep properly and getting the most out of the movement, guys. So following on from that, what we're gonna finish off with is just some straight old-fashioned barbell curls. Sometimes I put some weight on this, sometimes I don't. Today I didn't, just decided to do burnouts, I did sets of like 15 to 20 and then at the end just went to failure so I wouldn't recommend going to failure all the time because it's really taxing on your central nervous system not too good for making progress as quickly as possible but if it works for you then go for it but it's not for me what I did was just keep that elbow nice and still kept it locked in as you can see here and then curl get that full extension at the bottom, almost flexing the tricep a little bit, and then curling back up to the top. Why I like this is because it's gonna really help me to build that peak. As my bicep is thicker rather than taller, I really need to work on that peak just to even out that physique and get that ideal physique that I want in my own head. So doing these types of curls are gonna help me. Also, if you want me to go through a sort of bicep training, sort of the, the physiology of it, then comment down below and let me know and I'll possibly do that in another video. So that is gonna conclude this section of the video, guys. If you like these kind of intra-workout walkthroughs that I've been doing recently, then leave a like and a comment down below and let me know because it is so crucial for me to get the best content out possible for you guys. So let me know what you want. If, you're doing, if you wanna see something different, something completely different to this, just not even fitness related, then again, leave a comment down below. I'll be sure to get back to you guys. I, I really appreciate your feedback. So it does just help me make so much better content, so much better videos, hopefully for you guys to enjoy and get something out of as well. So again, if you enjoyed this section of the video, leave a like and let's get on with the rest of the video. All right, how's it going guys? I know I'm still in the home gym. That might be a little bit confusing for some of you guys, but this is actually where I'm gonna to conclude today's video. I'm having to talk a little bit quieter because there's some people in bed. I know they can probably still hear me, so sorry guys if you are watching this. But that is where I'm gonna round off today's video. Hopefully something that you guys have enjoyed. Let, again, let me know as I said earlier in the comments. The next video you guys will see will be a center parts vlog. That is if everything goes to plan. I'll keep you guys updated on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. So use those links in the description box to keep up to date with all of my activities, guys. Cannot wait to go to center parts and hopefully make some awesome, awesome videos for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in today, guys. As always, remember, no regrets. I'll see you guys in the next video.